It was 1931 and the world was in the midst of the Great Depression. In the capital region, like across the nation, poverty, unemployment, and desperation were widespread. In Schenectady, as people struggled to provide adequate shelter, food, and clothing for their families, the attention of a caring group of citizens was focused on others, also struggling to survive. With no means to care for them, people abandoned their pets. There was no place for them to go. Driven by concern and compassion, a group, led by Mrs. Jessie Carpenter, set out to create an agency for the prevention of the abuse of animals and to promote justice and mercy to every living creature. On August 12th of 1931, the Animal Protective Foundation of Schenectady was founded. Hang my head and cry when I will. From humble beginnings and through grave challenges, they persevered. Over time, demands placed on the foundation steadily increased. As the years passed, expansions and renovations took place. But finally, the shelter was in such desperate need of repair that the only real solution was to build a new one. Under the leadership of a dedicated board of directors, funds were raised, and in 1993, a state-of-the-art shelter was constructed. With a brand new facility and the addition of veterinary staff, the APF was able to take on new challenges. From the shelter's peak intake period in the 1980s of 7,000 animals annually, the numbers began to subside. In addition to providing safety and refuge for homeless pets, the Foundation's mission was expanded to include programs and services to better address the needs of both the animals and of the community. Among them, dog training classes to address the behavioral reasons for pet relinquishment, humane education programming to nurture empathy in children, and to help pet owners provide better care for their companions, a domestic violence partnership to provide safe haven for pets while their owners are in transition to safety, and always at the heart of the APF's mission, a commitment to quality, compassionate care. The Animal Protective Foundation's high standards of care and sanitation have been emulated by others and commended by humane industry leaders, including those from Cornell University's Shelter Veterinary Program. Our open admission policy upholds a promise made by our founders that no animal, even those too sick, too injured, or too aggressive to be safely rehomed, will be turned away. We are constantly in pursuit of our goal of a loving home for every family-friendly pet through treatment of sick and injured animals through adoption outreach at off-site locations and partnerships with other rescue organizations, and with the help of a growing core of dedicated volunteers who assist in nearly every facet of shelter work. Underlying this is a thoughtful adoption process, focused not on merely moving animals out the door, but placing them in loving and forever homes. However, the past 80 years have led us to one simple truth. Continuing to allocate the bulk of our resources to sheltering and adoption will never eliminate the steady flow of homeless animals into the shelter, now roughly 3,000 per year. In 1996, the APF reached a milestone that no other humane organization in the region had reached before. The APF's in-shelter surgical suite made it possible for every pet to be spayed or neutered before going home, ensuring that no adopted pet would ever contribute to the pet overpopulation crisis. Our experience with community spay-neuter services has positioned us well to take the next step toward addressing pet overpopulation and animal suffering at its core. The Capital District's pet overpopulation crisis is a result of animals both owned and stray left unaltered. There is a dire need for greater access to low-cost yet high-quality spay-neuter services. Our community spay-neuter program, a collaboration with four partner organizations, began in 2006. The program averages 3,000 cat surgeries per year in addition to 1,000 surgeries for shelter pets. Our staffing model and facility were never intended to handle the volume of surgeries we are now doing. On a typical day, our veterinarian performs upwards of 25 feline surgeries. Due to space constraints, this program cannot accommodate dogs. However, the need to help them is also great. A dedicated space in which we can consolidate all surgeries would enable us not only to increase surgical capacity for both cats and dogs, but also to increase efficiencies of time, labor, and costs. Like all of the services we provide, this would not be a burden to taxpayers, but continue to be a program that is financially self-sustaining. Since 1931, the APF has been funded independently through donations, but facility expansion will require greater community support. Like our founders who responded to the Great Depression, 
We must be pioneering and relentless in our pursuit of a more humane community. Please join us in building upon our legacy of compassion toward a community in which no animal is unwanted or unloved.